The world around us is vast, and from the research of scientists and physicists, we might not have explored the majority of our universe yet. Studies and research have concluded that we have only explored about 4% of our universe, and the remaining 96% is still a large pool of mystery, filled with new particles, dark energy and dark matter, multiple planets, and maybe even a different type of civilization that we're yet to come across, who knows? This research has led the top scientists, researchers, and engineers from five participating agencies around the world that all have a common goal of exploring space and its environment to build one of the most impressive technologies ever to be invented in human history, the International Space Station. The space station is used as an advanced research laboratory in order to explore our universe and the environment around us. The research conducted with a couple of live feeds coming from the International Space Station has uncovered some secrets yet to be revealed to the rest of the world. What are those secrets, why are they kept away from the general public, and of what benefit is this information in our world today? Join us as we explore the reasons why NASA shut down the live feeds of the International Space Station. The construction and launch of the International Space Station came forth as five space agencies such as the National Aeronautics and Space Administration representing the United States, Roscosmos representing Russia, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency came together to create a space and microgravity research laboratory where several scientific research tests in astronomy, meteorology, astrobiology and physics and other related fields are being conducted. It. The space station is also known for testing spacecraft equipment and systems that will be used soon on long-term missions to the Moon and exploration of planets like Mars. The space station also sends live feeds back to Earth at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration for further research, communications between astronauts on the space station and the engineers and scientists back on Earth, and also confirmation of test results. And at times, these live feeds are sometimes disseminated to the public by broadcasting them through media outlets, such as radio and television stations, to be watched. Among these live feeds, the iconic Apollo 11 mission of the moon landing of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, which was transmitted all over the world on July 21, 1969. Over time, we have continued to watch the technological advancements and explorations made by the International Space Station through the live stream. And along the line, we've spotted some details that NASA is trying to hide from the general public. Since the 1940s, bizarre reports have been coming in about sightings of flying saucers. The sightings and reports that were primarily made with a record of over 12,000 encounters about these strange objects in the sky gradually became a worldwide phenomenon until even film directors and producers in Hollywood began to make movies about it. And in our modern world today, in recent times, there are still speculations of other civilizations known as aliens that have more technological advancements in their culture. It became a significant topic that even the National Aeronautics and Space Administration made it a priority mission to look out for the possibility of coming across these civilizations in space and discovering more about their history. The Pentagon disclosed that it's been conducting investigations about these UFOs and even established the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program in 2007. Since then, the program has been making findings and checking for any irregularity in the air of the Earth. And even with this, many reports are still being made about the encounters and sightings of these UFOs. And since NASA has been looking into them for a while now in space, conspiracy theories prove that they must have made a couple of findings in their research and could have even come into contact with these extraterrestrial beings and UFOs. In 2015, a live feed from NASA coming from the transmission direct from the International Space Station was cut abruptly after a mysterious object appeared from afar over the horizon from the view of the planet Earth. The live feed was interrupted for 10 to 15 seconds after the object appeared on the screen until the camera came back on. UFO watcher and alien hunter Toby Lund spotted the UFO on the screen looking like a replica of the Starfleet insignia on Star Trek shortly before the live stream was interrupted suddenly from the International Space Station by NASA. And this could only mean one thing. Are aliens real? Were the sightings genuine as claimed by people who saw the UFOs? Whatever it is, it's beautiful, and I know it wasn't a planet, and it's definitely not a drone. And since the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has already found out about this unique civilization that has been talked about and been a center of attention for decades, why would the space agency be keeping this delicate information a secret from the rest of the world? 
Speculation came forth surrounding the sighting seen from the space station that the objects seen on the camera during the display on the live stream showed that it was probably space debris, as seen in the live stream from the International Space Station and mistaken to be a UFO, but Toby wasn't having that. He marked it wrong and said that there are always some UFOs showing up, and NASA always cuts the feed when a UFO gets close to the space station. He added further that the space agency has already removed the recording of the sighting from its media archives as part of its efforts to keep the sighting a secret, make any findings untraceable, and debunk the rumor of supposed back-and-forth communications between astronauts in space and UFOs. Another incident came a couple of weeks later, displaying a gray object rising over the horizon, only for the object to disappear moments before the National Aeronautics and Space Administration changed the live stream to a different camera, making the events of this UFO sighting twice a month. How weird could that be? More assumptions about that second incident stated that it could be a particle of dirt on the camera's lens used to display the second live stream, or maybe it was just the moon. The YouTuber that posted the video of the sighting, StreetCap1, did not believe that assumption at all and further explained in the video, please bear in mind that the moon appears white when it shows, he wrote. Then, later that year, on October 7th, UFO and alien researchers announced that they saw a strange object near the International Space Station during the spacewalk performed by two astronauts, Alexander Gerst and Reed Wiseman. This strange object was later said to be a lens flare from the sun, or it could have been a speck of dust. Weird, isn't it? Those reasons were not convincing enough, though, as more conspiracy theories came up from the alien researchers and ufologists standing their ground that the sighting was another proof for them that we humans are not alone in the universe. In an interview with Professor Andrew Balog from the Imperial College London Department of Physics, he told a Mail Online, Generally speaking, the UFO sightings can either be explained by some artifact effect, it could even be some space junk and be left unexplained as there is not enough evidence to back up the assumptions. It would be a very complex scenario to judge the content of the video in this instance, especially with the poor quality depicted in the video. But suppose NASA has access to high-quality images of the footage. In that case, they may decide to investigate further if they wish. But until now, NASA or its officials have not made any comments about the incident. Even with the live stream and photos coming from the rover of the International Space Station have become an enormous source of evidence and conspiracy theories for alien researchers and ufologists, several scientists believe and have concluded that all the reports of UFO sightings are a result of a psychological occurrence called pareidolia. It is a situation of the brain responding to seeing significant objects in totally random places. The vast majority of these images are as vague and elusive as those posted by UFO witnesses on Earth, and many have a fairly mundane explanation. Nigel Watson, author of the UFO Investigations Manual, told Mail Online, The problem is that the more NASA denies or explains such things, the more people think there is a conspiracy to hide the truth that aliens are visiting our planet, he added. After recent findings, it became somewhat clear the UFO study done by NASA isn't centered on looking for space aliens. Researchers said this because in early June, NASA announced that it would begin a study of unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as UAPs, after numerous reports of UFO sightings in the past year. And for this program, a total budget of $100,000, including 8 to 12 experts, would be working on the UAP independent study for close to a year. This program aims to mainly identify data that has already been gathered from NASA and other organizations with analysis techniques that may advance the understanding of the UAP scientifically. But when questioned about the story from NASA and the lead scientist for the study, astrophysicist and Simons Foundation president David Spergel, they declined to comment about the plans or goals that NASA has with the commencement of the UAP's program. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.